How's it going today, Jerry Bears? I'm Jerry Sky. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Today, we're going to talk about achieving anything. How to achieve anything. I just got done with one of my Skype sessions, and really, it's about your mindset going into the process of, say, going into minimalism or whatever your goal may be. Maybe it's something outlandish, something crazy being a YouTuber, being famous, being rich. It's all about controlling yourself and controlling your mind because you are in control of every single thing that you want to go through here. And before you start being the one in control of most everything that goes through here, right now it's just running on autopilot, just going, going, going. And unless you're putting things in there and adjusting what has been put in there already, programmed, brainwashed, controlled into there already by your parents, society, your teachers, whatever. It's going to run its own course and do whatever the hell it wants unless you start putting stuff in there. Unless you start reading books, start speed reading, reading self-help books, how to do things, putting it in your brain, watching videos on how to do the things that you want to do, watching videos of successful people, reading articles of successful people, putting, placing other different things into that, that way that your brain works. Watching videos of people who are successful, of how they act, how they interact, how they do things, how they think, how they question, how they just don't like accept what is now as what is going to always be. If you put into your brain, you start telling yourself, I can achieve this, I can achieve that. Anything is possible. This is possible. I just have to work for this. You're going to get it. Inside, in your subconscious, the part that's the most important because it feels like it's the part you're not in control of, but you really are if you start planting those seeds and building it up into what you want it to be instead of what it is right now. You are going to get the things that you want to get. If you think, oh, this is hard, this isn't good, this is difficult, it's going to be hard, it's going to be not good going to be difficult but if you start thinking about oh this is easy I can do this I have control over this you start thinking I can achieve this I can be rich one day I can be rich and I'll have money to help people that I want to help because that's a whole nother video of like money and dealing with and the shame that is put on rich people and all that stuff like that's a whole nother video I'm not gonna get into it this video but a whole other video Oh, this is a little bright. I should have shot in front of this background. Oh well, fucking hell. Oh well. Today is the day after Thanksgiving, okay? Things, I've been busy. <laughs> if you start putting, planting those seeds, that positivity, that you can do this stuff, you can make it happen, you can do it. You don't have to know how. You just have to believe that you can. And even hope hoping for the best when you go into a task a situation uh, something that's difficult or some sort of what am I trying to, to say when you're going into a new situation maybe that you haven't dealt with yes there might be some anxiety and everything but if you think I can do this I have something to offer in this I'm going to make this a positive experience instead of a negative one. It will be a positive experience instead of a negative one. <laughs> Pardon me. So, if there are tasks in your life like you want to be a minimalist, but you're not finding it easy to do so, just change it around. This is easy. Other people do it. They have come from where I have come from in stuff because if y'all don't remember like watch my minimalism journey videos you could see I come from having a lot of stuff if you want to be rich watch rich people they don't got much more than I got like they they did it from nothing some of them were high school dropouts some of them were college dropouts Oprah was a college dropout you could do that you can make that happen and in a different way. It's not going to happen the same way. 
But if you believe you can do it, you can do it. And you try and you give it your all and you actually put forth effort, you can do it. The only person that stops you is you. Because people are always going to say nasty things, bad things. People are going to hate. Hell, Miranda Sings. That whole show is called Haters Back Off. She created that character. That char character got more solidified by her doing things that the haters said they hated. The lipstick, more lipstick then because they said they hated the, the lipstick looked terrible. She created that character out of like people hating on the stuff. She embraced it. She saw it as a positive. Oh, thanks for giving me material. Thanks for giving me just to know what is affecting you. She made it affect them even more. And then made it a character people love. Because it has such an effect. So to achieve anything, you just have to believe that it is possible. And do your damnedest to make it happen. Put all your energy, all your effort, sacrifice things to get there. It will not happen overnight. Most anybody who has some sort of success, it did not happen overnight. You ask all of them. They're like, this has been so long in the working. All of a sudden, overnight, they will see a huge amount of recognition, but it is from years of work finally paying off. Years of unpaid work, years of struggle, years of tears, years of crying years of fucking having such a tough time years of struggle i ever said struggle years of unhappiness possibly well maybe happiness in what they were doing but unhappiness they weren't fully getting there yet all of a sudden it pays off and that's what an overnight success is rarely is it ever just something happened in the next day those people did nothing and got it. Even the catch me outside girl, how about that? That girl's father left and started a whole new family and stopped spending time with her to create so much of her not liking, say her home situation, everything, hanging out on the streets, learning street talk to get to the point where she was gonna say that catchphrase that made her blow up. Okay, it wasn't just like a, she just randomly said it and that's everything. It was years of, say, pain that went into building that persona of that, of her being like, Kesh Masa, how about that? If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> I feel like I reference a lot of things people don't know what they are, but it is, it's whatever, 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 whatever. I'm a person exploring the world. I have no notes on this, so it's all out of my head. Everything you've ever need, if you have ever worked on something and you've gotten years into it, and then you look back and you're like, man, I could have been here earlier if I had just been confident about what I was doing even then. The only person holding you back really is you. And that's to an extent, to another extent it is rules, regulations, people, society, everything, but the confidence in the person that you are now to then, now and then, it's you. You had to do all this stuff to feel like you were confident, but you always believed you could do it. You just have to be that confident person. Be sure that you can make that stuff happen. You can learn along the way. You don't have to already know it before you get there. Trust yourself, other people, the process that you will learn, that you will grow. If you are put forth anything that you can get through it, get out of it. And if you have that unwavering trust, you believe, you'll get where you're going. You'll get where you want to be. But if you question every single thing, you're just costing time, energy for you, for the people around you. And you're cheating yourself out of achieving more in life because you're not believing in yourself. 
It's all as simple as that. The only difference between you and somebody super famous, super rich famous, is that they believed in themselves and they tried and they trusted. They took leaps of faith and they went for it, gung-ho. That's it. That's the difference. <sighs> All right, guys, if you like this video on how to achieve anything, achieving anything, achieve greatly, just achievements, your mindset, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to put some comments in the comment section below. It's another video I'm not going to edit. I'm gonna try this for a little bit just because it's a busy weekend and, you know, see what happens. I have some more funny videos coming up. They're not all done. <laughs> and subscribe before you leave. Hit that subscribe button with power. I'm Jerry Sky. Sky's the limit. Woo!